here guys, I just wanted to show you an update on the Don Smith sort of replication and where I'm at with it. I've added uh, a different coil onto it um, and tuned it a little bit differently. And what you're seeing right now is the meter which is pegged, it's on bolts. And it is across the battery. This light has been running for four hours now. Um, I'm just letting it run as long as possible just to see what happens because I can't really read the voltage. Um, it is fully lit. I've got the cup on there. It's not warm whatsoever, uh, but it's definitely fully lit. It's 120 volts. There is no transformer. Um, there is no smart gap. And uh, it's just going and going and going. So I, this is what I've added. Um, I've changed the small pencil coil um, and have taken so the way it is right now um, I have one side of the coil is the power side which is powering the light and the other side of the coil not connected uh, via wire just through um, magnetism is actually going back into the battery um, as well I added a bank of super caps to try and smooth out the charge and that bank of super caps is in parallel with that battery um, the bank was not charged when I put it on there um, it just seems to help somehow balance out the energy and, and I guess the only way to describe it is it, it must be doing what it's supposed to do it must be just smoothing out the pulses that are uh, going being fed back into the battery uh, the fan is being run uh, separately by the battery charger so I have the battery charger just hooked up to the fan it's not actually hooked up to the system it's totally separate so um, the light has been running continuously for four hours and a bit off of the battery um, and the meter hasn't come off um, that setting yet so it's I don't know if it ever will I honestly don't know I'm just kind of doing this video for myself and uh, if it does make its way to YouTube I will definitely let you know how long it lasted um, right now it's just over four hours and there's no transformer there's no inverter uh, it's basically tuned with some capacitors once again I've got some capacitors on the uh, bridge rectifier a capacitor going across the leg itself and I have some more capacitors over here that were used for actually tuning and uh, yeah it's working very well um, there's not much heat on the uh, MOSFET itself but I'm not taking a chance because it's the last one that I have and I keep blowing them up um, but the rod itself I think because it's just so small again it's uh, you know the size of a pencil um, it does it does definitely create some heat so I'm probably gonna have to put a fan on that or cool it some way but for now I'm just gonna let it uh, do what it's doing and see how long it lasts uh, pretty unique I've taken off the ground so the ground is no longer hooked up. There is no ground other than the uh, battery ground. Um, I didn't notice that it was doing any sort of a, making any sort of a difference. Uh, I even hooked it up to a very large um, aluminum box that I have sitting right here, which is massive. It's probably five feet by two feet wide. I used that as a ground. and. Uh, didn't really make a difference so that's what it's doing right now hopefully I can share this with you guys 
uh, pretty unique. You know, obviously I'm hoping that it's doing something special and that the uh, the winding that's being fed back into the battery is helping. Um, I do know, I'm not going to do it right now, but I do know that if I unhook that white wire, which is the wire coming from the bifiler rod, um, if I unhook that, um, voltage does drop. So um, right now it's just remaining like that. So I'm going to keep it like that for now and just see how long it lasts and uh, see what happens. So it's basically the same setup before. I know it's messy, but uh, basically um, um, in a nutshell, uh, here, let me show you a drawing, a quick drawing that I have made up here. Got the 12 volt battery. It's going into two PWMs. Both PWMs are going into the bifiler rod. And then the bifiler rod is going to the MOSFET and then going back to the battery. On the other side of the bifiler rod, um, it's going to uh, a bridge rectifier, which is loaded with a bunch of different capacitors to help resonate it. And off the bridge rectifier, the light is shining brightly. And that's basically it. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, there's lots of different capacitors and one line going back to the battery. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple to draw, but uh, to tune, I've mentioned this uh, numerous times, uh, it's taken me weeks to, to tune this thing. And uh, not without uh, not without some sparks and some uh, explosions and some melted wires. So it does take some skill to uh, and some patience to get this thing to do what it's doing. Um, um, but yeah, once you get it going, uh, you just gotta find resonance. And this is it. So yeah, I'll uh, keep you posted and let you know how it goes. If you have any questions, uh, let me know or comments. Uh, again, if you want to buy some plans, again, thanks to everybody who's already purchased the plans. Um, they're 50 bucks, and I will give you detailed instructions on how to tune and set this device up to do exactly what it's doing right now. So send me a $50 PayPal donation, and I'll send you the plans. Thanks again.